The working process of a tunnel boring machine, TBM, includes many stages and complex mechanisms. Let's see how the TBM operates during tunnel construction. The TBM is first transported in parts to the tunnel construction site and assembled at the launch shaft. The cutting head, the front part of the TBM equipped with cutting tools, is carefully placed at the tunnel face. Workers ensure the TBM is correctly aligned and secure in the tunnel. Next, the TBM's cutter head starts to rotate, the cutting tool, disc cutter, on the head grinds and smashes the soil and rocks in front of the machine. When the mower head rotates, it creates a hole in the ground. The excavated material, spoils, is peeled off and falls onto the conveyor system in the TBM. Excavated material is transported through the TBM through a conveyor system to the rear of the machine. From there, the material is transported to the surface for processing or reuse. Tunnel Lining Construction as the TBM advances, precast concrete sections will be poured in to form the tunnel lining. Hydraulic jacks or push cylinders push the segments against the tunnel wall, forming a ring. These segments interlock to form a circular tunnel lining. Mortar, a special liquid mixture, is injected between the tunnel sections and walls to fill the voids and ensure stability. TBM machines are equipped with hydraulic jacks or thrust cylinders that push against the tunnel wall creating the necessary thrust for the machine to move forward. Lateral support systems, such as additional hydraulic jacks, are used to stabilize the tunnel walls and prevent collapse. Throughout the tunneling process, engineers and operators monitor various parameters, including ground pressure, machine speed, cutter head rotation angle and the integrity of the tunnel lining. Based on real-time data and geological conditions, adjustments to TBM operations are made to ensure smooth and safe progress. The TBM continues to dig until it reaches its designated endpoint or breakout point. At the breakout point, the TBM penetrates the final layer of soil or rock, completing the tunnel. When breakthrough occurs, the TBM is typically disassembled and the tunnel is prepared for further construction or completion including the installation of additional infrastructure such as tracks, utilities or roads. Throughout the entire process, safety procedures are strictly followed and geotechnical engineers continuously assess ground conditions to ensure tunnel stability as well as the safety of workers and surroundings. SGC-120 is a modern heavy-duty crane developed by Sarens, a world-leading heavy lifting and design transport company. The SGC-120, part of the Sarens line of giant cranes, is famous for its impressive lifting capacity and innovative design, making it one of the strongest cranes in the world. Below, let's see how to assemble the SGC-120 crane. Because the SGC-120 has the ability to lift extremely large loads, the maximum lifting capacity is up to 3,200 tons and the telescopic crane length can reach an outstanding length, so the assembly of the world's largest crane SGC-120 of Sarens is a very complex process that requires meticulous planning, skilled labor and specialized equipment. Crane components including crane sections, counterweights, hoists, winches, and various mechanical and electronic components are delivered to the construction site. First, a steel ring with a diameter of 43.6 meters is placed at the planned location. This is the part where the crane rests, then move the mechanical and electronic parts. Then five small cranes were erected to create SGC-120. They are erected and pulled up by pulley ropes and then assembled together through mechanical parts. Counterweights are strategically placed and securely attached to the crane's structure to balance the weight during lifting. Proper distribution of counterweights is very important for the stability of the crane. Here, 36 containers each weighing 100 tons are loaded as counterweights for the SGC-120. The counterweight is ready. It's time to connect the cable. Connect using thin cables to guide the thicker ones into the plate. The rear cable block connected to the main crane that the team had already assembled was then installed. 
Next is the time to tie the cable to the pre-assembled hook block with a rope pulling the field cable through the pulley. This cable guides another thicker cable from the winch and through the pulley. The hook is attached to six which are 1.5 kilometers long steel cables. The mechanical and electrical system of the crane, including winch, motor, gear, and control panel, is installed and integrated. The hydraulic system, essential to controlling the crane's movement, is thoroughly integrated and tested. Cylinders, valves, and hydraulic pipes are installed and calibrated to ensure precise control. Once all components are assembled, the crane undergoes rigorous testing and calibration procedures. Hydraulic systems, electrical connections, and safety features are thoroughly checked. Load tests are conducted to verify the crane's lifting capacity and stability under different conditions. You are looking at concreting a conical product with a diameter of 58 feet and a top-to-bottom length of 34 feet at a 38-degree slope using a lightning strike roller sweeper. Lura Lightning Strike Roller Screed is specialized construction equipment used to speed up the leveling and finishing process of large concrete surfaces. Whether it's highways, bridge decks, warehouse floors or any other extensive concrete project, Screed Roller Screed is designed to make demanding jobs a breeze. Screed Roller Screed covers conical surface area quickly, significantly reducing the time and effort required to finish concrete. It helps achieve high levels of productivity allowing construction teams to complete projects faster than traditional methods. Because Screed Roller Screed is equipped with advanced leveling technology, the Screed ensures precise leveling and finishing of the concrete surface. It eliminates unevenness, ensures smooth and flat results, and meets strict quality standards for concrete construction. The Lightning Strike Roller Sweeper can be easily controlled by the operator, making it accessible to both experienced construction professionals and those new to the equipment. In short, the Lura Lightning Strike Roller Screed revolutionizes the concrete finishing process by combining speed, precision, and ease of use. It simplifies complex tasks, making it an indispensable tool for construction projects where large concrete surfaces need to be leveled and finished efficiently and accurately. Aliyapur a pioneering organization in tire recycling has revolutionized the concept of sustainable sports surfacing by utilizing recycled tire plastic pellets to create high-quality athletics tracks. This innovative process begins with the collection of discarded tires, which are then meticulously processed to extract the valuable rubber material. These tires undergo a series of steps to transform them into fine plastic pellets, eliminating the need for raw materials derived from fossil fuels. These recycled pellets, rich in the durability and resilience inherent in rubber, are then mixed with other eco-friendly additives to enhance their performance characteristics. This unique blend not only ensures exceptional shock absorption but also provides athletes with a firm and supportive surface for training and competition. The meticulous manufacturing process employed by Aliapur involves precise mixing of the recycled tire plastic pellets with binding agents creating a consistent and high-quality material for the athletics track. This carefully engineered mixture is then meticulously applied on prepared surfaces, ensuring even distribution and a seamless finish. The versatility of these recycled pellets allows for customization, catering to various sports requirements and ensuring optimal performance for athletes. What makes this approach truly groundbreaking is its significant environmental impact. By repurposing discarded tires, Aliapur not only reduces the burden on landfills but also minimizes the demand for new raw materials, conserving precious natural resources and mitigating the carbon footprint associated with traditional track construction methods. Moreover, the resulting athletics track boasts remarkable sustainability features. By incorporating recycled materials, Aliapur's tracks contribute to the circular economy, promoting a closed-loop system where waste is transformed into valuable resources. These tracks not only meet stringent quality standards but also exemplify eco-conscious innovation, 
aligning with the global drive towards sustainable practices. Athletes and sports enthusiasts can now train and compete on surfaces that not only enhance their performance but also echo a commitment to environmental stewardship. Aliapur's use of recycled tire plastic pellets in athletics track construction stands as a testament to the organization's dedication to creating a greener, more sustainable future, one track at a time. Through their innovative approach, Aliapur sets a powerful example, inspiring industries worldwide to embrace eco-friendly practices and redefine the way we think about sports infrastructure and environmental conservation. The construction of a 70-meter-long tunnel under the highway in just one weekend was a remarkable feat of engineering prowess and meticulous planning. Such an effort requires precise coordination, advanced technology and an exceptional workforce. The project began with meticulous site preparation, in which engineers analyzed the terrain and planned the tunnel's path. The excavation process involves removing large amounts of soil and debris to create a stable foundation for the tunnel. The construction site bustled with activity as heavy machinery, including cranes and excavators, were deployed strategically. Safety measures are paramount, with workers following strict procedures and instructions to prevent accidents and ensure the structural integrity of the existing highway above. Engineers closely monitor the digging process, making real-time adjustments to ensure stability and accuracy. The prefabricated tunnel section, manufactured off-site, is gradually transported in with the support of hundreds of machines and workers. This rapid pace of construction not only demonstrates the marvel of modern engineering but also minimizes disruption to the surrounding area. The successful completion of the 70-meter-long tunnel in just one weekend highlights the potential of innovative construction techniques and the incredible capabilities of dedicated professionals in this field, demonstrating the power of innovation. Collaboration technology and expertise in turning ambitious concepts into tangible, real things. World infrastructure, 